So it's week eight, 2020 NFL season. Packers fans, we're not feeling great about our chances. Early on, we did. Early on, offense is coming. We thought, hey, maybe we have a Super Bowl team. We didn't draft really well. And we didn't sign free agents, but maybe, just maybe, Aaron Rodgers is going to play at that level, that level, that top-notch MVP level, where we're going to win. But now, we're 5-2. and two. We just lost to the 1-5 Vikings. And I'm going to tell you why we're mad. And to tell you why we're mad, I'm going to take a bat. Let's write some statistics up here. 2019. So we have the 2019 Packers. Our offense, we had the number 15 ranked scoring offense. Defense, we had the number 9 scoring defense. All right, so 15th best offense, mid-pack, 9th best scoring defense in the regular season. Then we run into a bus out of the NFC Championship game. NFC Championship game, NFC Champ game. So we have the NFC Championship game. Don't mind the penmanship. I understand that my writing sucks. San Francisco, we lose. We lose. Lose. 37 to 20. 37 to 20. We looked embarrassed. We got ran right off the field. Literally ran right off the field. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. I gotta keep it down here. Jimmy G. Probably need him to throw the ball if you want to win this game. No, Jimmy G has eight, eight, count them, eight pass attempts in that game. Eight. Eight. So how'd they score 37 points? Oh, well, I will tell you, they ran for 283, sorry, 285 rush yards. 285 rushing yards. That's a lot of rushing yards. I don't know if you're not, I imagine you're watching this, you're a fan of football. 285 is a lot. What's even more egregious is that 180 of them were before contact. Before contact. So before anyone touched any of their running backs, Mostert, use check, I don't, whoever was running the ball, I don't even know. McKinnon, I don't even think he was there. But 180 before anyone ever touched him. So what does that tell you? All right, so us fans realize that we have a problem in the middle of our defense. Middle of our defense, problem. All right, so now we've got the 2020 Green Bay Packers knowing our problems. All right, we need a number two receiver because we have... Number two receiver, because we have Devontae Adams, who's an absolute stud, and we probably need help, help in the middle of our defense, because I'm going to just draw a line to that, to that. I'll just draw a line that explains itself. Help in the middle because of that. Okay, so what's our first, what's our first opportunity here? We have, we have... The 2020 draft. 2020 draft. All right, we're drafting, drafting 24, 28 or something originally. A lot of guys on the board, right? There's a lot of receivers, a lot of wide receivers. You know, what I mean, on the we can we can get Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb's out there. You got Lamb. You got Jefferson. Jefferson. You got I don't know how to spell his name. Ayuk, I'm not going to put Rieger because he stinks. T. Higgins, he was even a second round pick, but he's out there. You got Judy. Now, I can't stress this enough. I know a lot of these were going to go in the mid-tier, but we made the NFC Championship game. We have two distinct problems. It doesn't matter. You trade some capital, you get up there to get any of these guys. We have some linebackers, too. Linebackers, you got, you got Murray, who was the athletic freak who I wanted. Ended up going to the, in the Chargers. You got Patrick Queen. He was sitting there. Right, first names. You got Queen. Queen was there. You got Braun from Wisconsin. He was there. So you got, these, these are the guys that we need right here. We have them. So what do we do? We trade up. I'm sitting there. I'm watching this draft. We trade up. I'm like, okay. At that point, Lamb was gone. Vikings got Jefferson, Judy was gone, Ayuk was still there, Rieger was still there. there, there were some receivers there. 
there were some receivers there. Uh, Kenneth Murray just went to the Chargers, but Patrick Queen was there. This was the guy I thought. This was the guy I was circling right here, Patrick Queen. I'm like, they're going to draft Patrick Queen? Let's go. What do we do? What do we do? In the first round, let me get down here. First round, we go ahead and draft backup quarterback. Can't stress this enough. Backup QB. QB. Jordan Love. Jordan Love out of Utah State. And he wasn't the best quarterback on the board. He was the third or fourth best quarterback, and he was the third quarterback off the board. We trade up to get this guy. That's fine. All right, we have a second round pick. We're going we're gonna to do all right. Denzel Mims, I believe, was still on the board in the second round, so we're coming around second round. Second round. What do we do? Do we get Denzel Mims? No, we don't get Denzel Mims. We draft third or fourth string running back. A.J. Dillon, why this one pisses me off, I'm going to draw a line up here, draw a line up here, because Aaron Jones, 2019, had 20 TDs, 20 TDs, that was our starting running back, our second string running back, Jamal Williams, pretty damn good, so we got a lot going on here, I'm not even done, so where can I find some room? We're out of order here, so I'm going to come and erase this so we, we know what happened with 2019. So now, okay, we got free agency. All right, can we get anyone in free agency? 2020 free agency? I mean, we killed it. We killed it. We killed it because we got Christian Kirksey, who played eight games previous two years as our linebacker option. Previous two years. Eight games. Oh, guess where he is? He's hurt right now, currently, where we are. Eight games, okay, so that worked out well. We have Funches. That was our receiver option. Who's not good to begin with, but it, it's something. What did Funches do? Opted out. COVID. Do it, opted out. So now, what do we have? We got smoked in the NFC Championship game, drafted a backup quarterback, third string running back, no defensive help, didn't draft a receiver in the 2020 draft. Our big free agent signings are out, one because one opted out, the other one is hurt, like we had no indicators that he was gonna get hurt. Maybe the fact that he played eight games in the previous two years, that probably would have helped out. Okay, so free agency sucked, did nothing. Now we're sitting here. Not sure how the season's gonna go. After losing to the Minnesota Vikings, it's evident in the two games that we lost that the number two receiver issue is a big problem. Teams double Devontae Adams, no one else gets open. If it's a good defense, can't scheme them open. What happened this week? Dalvin Cook coming off of a groin injury. Dalvin Cook, this week, Week seven, week, week eight, Dalvin Cook, 200 plus yards of total offense, four TDs. Vikings scored 28 points, Dalvin Cook scored all 28 of them. Okay, so we have the trade deadline. A couple targets out there. We got Fuller, trade deadline. Trade deadline. We got Fuller. Is a target. Okay, what came out is they didn't want to give up a second round pick for him for a guy who they might only have for eight games. I already erased it, but again, we're in a window. We have Aaron Rodgers, number 12, playing at MVP level at 36 years old. That window's closing quick. You trade the second round pick or the third round pick for eight games. And you get Will Fuller and you try to give a number two. I understand he's hurt, but whatever. Even if you didn't want to do that, even if you didn't want to do that, there were a couple linebackers that were out there. Avery Williamson got traded to an NFC team, went to the Saints. Saints, decent linebacker, pretty young, pretty decent linebacker. Quan Alexander. Alexander. No, sorry. Juan Alexander went to the Saints. 
Williamson went to the Steelers. Pretty good linebacker. Steelers have a pretty damn good defense. They got better with Avery Williamson. They're trained. They're seven and zero, and they're trading for middle linebackers. We're five and two. Just got run all over a week ago. We can't trade for this guy. Quan Alexander, pretty solid linebacker. He goes to the Saints. They're in the NFC. They got better. The Tampa Bay Bucks just signed AB Bucks. AB, they got better. Saints got better. The Seahawks got Dunlap. They got better. They needed a pass rush. So all these NFC teams are getting better. And we did this. And all of this amounts to nothing. And that sucks. That sucks. I'm a Packers fan, I'm going to keep the faith. But when we make the playoffs and get smoked and give up 200 yards on the ground, you can revert back to this video, you can reference this video. If you're a Packers fan, this is all burnt into your brain. You know all of this, but if you're not a Packers fan, you could revert back to this video and understand why we got smoked. It's not going to be a surprise to us, but for you non-Packers fans, there you go. That's the story of the last two years, and that's why we're gonna get smoked in the playoffs and not gonna win a Super Bowl. Hope I'm wrong, I don't think I am. I've sat through this enough for the last couple years. Thank you for watching this video. I'm sure it was a long one.